Yo, yo, how's it going guys? So today I'm gonna to be working on the GT. I'm gonna be converting it into a one by, so I'll be swapping out the crank set and just using the one chain ring. But most importantly, I'll be replacing the forks. Unfortunately, the forks are actually bent. Um, I did suspect that they might have been just by the look and the angle of them, but I couldn't find any obvious stress marks or any cracks. But yeah, after posting the rebuild video, a few of you guys also pointed out that they look bent. So I think it's pretty safe to say that they are bent. These are the forks I'm going to be using. Um, they're a bit scratched up and I don't think the yellow would match nicely. So I'm going to strip them back and repaint them black. And these are the parts I'm going to be using. Some Sagino messenger cranks match nicely with this silver 43 tooth BMX chain ring. I'm also swapping out the bars to hopefully give me a bit more of a comfortable upright position. They're these super wide, fun, fat boy bars, which have this real sweet multicolored sparkle paint job and also this fun stem to match the bars. So I'm going to start off by sandblasting the forks. These things basically just use compressed air to shoot sand. You just use a handheld nozzle to aim at the fork and this will strip all the paint and the rust off and it will leave you with a really nice raw even surface, perfect for painting over. So let's see how it turns out. So that was about 20 minutes of sandblasting. It looks like it's removed pretty much all the paint and the rust, and it just leaves you this really nice matte finish. You could even clear coat it from here, because it looks pretty sweet, but I'm gonna be painting it black. So this is the paint I'll be using. I'm just going to do two coats of primer and then I'll do two top coats and we'll see how it turns out. Really happy with how it's turned out. It's got a really nice shine to it and a really smooth surface. So we'll let this dry and we'll crack on with the rest of the build. So I'll be removing the front mech and also the shifter. Because I'll be going one by, I won't be needing it. It'll hopefully make the bike look a lot cleaner too. So now I'm just gonna test fit the crank set on the BB I already have on. And so yeah, it looks like it's a little bit too narrow as the crank's coming quite close to the chainstay. So I'm gonna wanna get a wider bottom bracket. So I'll measure the one I've got on now and it looks like it's 113. So I'll go a little bit wider. So I've got this BB here, which is 117.5. Hopefully they'll add a couple mil on each side. Um, so let's test out and see if it works. So these BMX chain rings are pretty sweet. 
They actually fit on two different size cranks. Um, they fit on 110 BCD cranks and 130, and mine's 130. So yeah, that's why they've got um, 10 holes instead of just five. it would be worth upgrading the headset whilst I was at it so I got this nice seal bearing gusset one that I'll swap out So it turns out the steer is actually quite long, so I'm going to cut the steer down by a centimetre or two. So I've decided to swap out the old brake levers for these new Avid FR5s. I think they'll look a lot nicer with the new handlebars.
And here we are, all done now. Really happy how it's turned out. I think the black forks work really well. The wide risers also look a whole lot more comfortable and the single chainring makes the bike look a lot less cluttered and way cleaner. So here's the comparison between the old forks versus the new ones. Um, you can see how much lower the front end actually was. It looks a lot more upright and a whole lot better now. It's super stoked. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think of it and I hope you enjoyed. Peace.